Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be using the brand new Mega Heart Eyes stamp set from Kelly Stamps. It's release day today. There are some great stamp sets over there, including my favorite Tiny Alpha. Uh, so do check out the discount code in the description box. Head on over and pick yourself up something pretty. Now the notebook that I'm working in today is one that I've just made myself. I had a few photos uh, from sort of the end of 2020 that I wanted to create with. I have finished all my notebooks so I made myself a little one to just finish out 2020 in. Uh, and some of the pages like you can see in here, the background of them, I have used some pattern papers. I've used two different pattern papers uh, along with a bunch of just regular white cardstock in this notebook. Uh, and this is one of those spreads. So I've used a bunch of crepe paper um, papers from my paper pads. So one side of them is pattern paper and the other is white, which I quite like. Uh, and so I thought for this spread, I would challenge myself to use some of the scrap bits of paper that I have, uh, not necessarily from this notebook, but when I opened up those paper pads, I had a bunch of scrap papers in them, little off cuts that I've used here and there. Um, and I'd really love to use some of those up. So that is what I'm going to do today. Now I've started with this little ruler scrap that I had here. It did have a green ruler on top of it. I've just trimmed that out. The background paper on the left is a little bit kind of warmer toned and so I sort of wanted to stick with that. Uh, so I've just used that wood grain ruler and I have attached that on top of this really pretty floral. Um, I tried to keep as much of those sort of pink flowers visible as I can. Now I have split that paper strip down the middle. I don't tend to to carry anything over the middle of the spine it makes folding a notebook really difficult so it's super easy just to split it down the middle attach one half to one side and one half to the other she says as she eyeballs this blue strip goes to glue it down and you'll see I've cut it in the wrong place uh, so this just goes to show you how easy it is all I'm going to do is add a little bit of adhesive trim off the little piece that was missing, stick it down, and then I can add the other half over onto the right hand side. So that's it. It's it's better if you measure it rather than eyeball it like I did, uh, but it is super easy to get that continued line without any impediment to your notebook. Now this is a little part of a cut apart sheet that was there, so it's not going to be big enough to kind of map my photo, but I love both parts of it. So there's a little bit of kind of faux stitching at the top, and then I love that little heart down the bottom. Didn't necessarily need the sentiment on there, so I'm going to just hide that behind my photo. I'm going to attach the top half to the top half of my photo. I can add that behind there. And then the second piece down the bottom, I'm going to need to bump that up against the edge of my photo because it's not really going to overlap terribly much. I've overlapped as little as I can, uh, trimmed off a bit of the bottom because it was a bit long, and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere add adhesive to all of the back of that and I'm going to sit that over on the left hand side of the page. Now that background paper is kind of a glittery paper um, and so I've made sure to use plenty of adhesive on that because I want it to remain stuck nicely down. And the other part of this cut apart sheet that I really loved was this little um, wreath. I guess it's a wreath, a little black and white wreath. Uh, it does have a tiny little sentiment on the inside, which I love. Uh, I didn't have any room to add a square of paper on there, so I'm trimming that out. I love, I love how fast this is, and I wish that I could fussy cut this fast in real life. Uh, it was a tiny bit of a tedious process because those little leaves are very small. I'm using some cutter bee scissors and that definitely helped a bit. I'm definitely not a fan of fussy cutting, but I love the end result. So I have a little element. Like I said, this challenge is about using scrap paper, so I don't want to add anything else. I'm literally just going to use paper and stamps. That's all I want to add to my page as well as using up some of those scraps. It means I'm going to keep this page super flat uh, working in a notebook. That's always important. You know I don't uh, don't add too big a bulk to any of my notebooks. But I do love adding puffy stickers and chipboards and all of that sort of stuff and it does make a notebook pretty bulky. 
So this is another sort of idea I had from this yellow chevron pattern paper. I figured I could cut this out and turn it into a bit of an embellishment as well. So I cut out one of the chevrons and just trimmed it on my paper trimmer so that both sides were even. The way that the paper scrap was cut, it wasn't actually even. Uh, one side was bigger than the other. So I've trimmed them down. They're about an, it's about an inch off the center of either side. And then I just used the printed lines to trim those down. So I've got my two little arrows there. I figure I'll get my uh, rule of three by adding another little arrow onto the left hand side of the page. Um, and I also end up then with a little pop of yellow color. So I really love that. There's yellow in that floral um, and it just ties all of those colors together. So I'm working out the placement a little bit and then I decide that uh, before I go too much further working out where I'm going to pop all of these pretty paper pieces, I want to add some of my gorgeous stamps. Now I have not used these stamps before so I'm going to test them out on a little bit of scrap paper first to make sure that they're nice and primed so I get a solid heavy black stamp. I'm also using my Pink Fresh Detail Black Ink which is... Um, a sort of super dark black ink. My ink pad is uh, really juicy <laughs> so I have to make sure that I'm not pressing too too hard when I stamp it down so that I get a nice clear impression. Now that mega heart I stamp fit perfectly between those two numbers on my ruler. It's going to end up being sort of the title for this page so I added that one on there. That was one of the reasons I needed a super black ink because I was stamping it down on top of that wood grain. Um, it really needed to stand out and be super black. And then I've added a couple of other the smaller sentiments just so they don't take over too much visual space. Um, I've added one above the pattern paper on the right hand side and then I stamped one directly onto my photo using my Brilliance Moonlight White ink. I print it home on Canon Photo Glossy 2 paper. It loves being stamped on, it loves absorbing ink, uh, and that Brilliance ink really is the best white ink that I've found for stamping on photos like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue down my little chevron arrows. I'm using the scrapbook.com smart glue for that. These pieces are quite small. I didn't think my tape runner would do it. I love this glue for this sort of thing. It dries really quickly, super easy to use. I did grab out my uh, tweezers though rather than trying to fiddle around with gluey fingers. So that worked nicely. And then the last thing I have to do is sort of work out the placement for my fussy cut piece, which I decided I would pop down here underneath the um, mega heart eyes stamp. So it's not actually taking away too much visual space, but it does look a tiny bit lost down there. So I'm going to do a, a little bit more fussy cutting. I'm going to create myself couple more embellishments. So I had this little scrap of bow paper. I'm going to trim out a couple of the bows that are still intact. Not all of them were whole so I didn't have a whole choice of colors. Um, I'm going to end up with three again my little rule of threes. Um, I've got a darker pink, I've got a kind of tealy green color and I'm going to trim out this lighter peachy color bow as well just to add a little bit of color. Now uh, I sped up that fussy cutting but in real life it took a little bit longer so my camera cut out. <laughs> These are the placements of my bows. I've already gone ahead and glued those down with some of that smart glue as well. And I'm going to add just a few more teeny little love heart stamps onto the page as well. I have used a very very light pink, it's hard to see on camera here I will say, a very very light pink onto the white of the page on the right hand side and then I added a little white stamp onto my photo with that same moonlight white ink and then I'm going to add a couple of slightly darker pink ones. So I added um, like a full strength pink onto the wood grain ruler on the left and then for the darker pinks on the right I did make sure to off stamp them on some scrap paper first so they weren't too in your face pink and that's my layout all done. This is a super sweet stamp set. You're going to be seeing a lot of it this month I can tell you that's for sure. So do head over to the Kelly Stamp Store and pick one up for yourself. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching there are a couple more videos on screen otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys!